on today's episode of Hanging with Hillary. All this and more. Stay tuned. It's not that early, but it feels early. I was out pretty late with friends, which is great. But like, whew, it feels like it might as well be 6 a.m., but it's like 8.30. Anyways, no good day gets started without a little bit of time with French Laura, and she just got back into town, so today is gonna be a great day. I'm gonna go check out a new cafe with her. I haven't been in the mood, honestly, to go uh, exploring too much. You may have noticed that. I'm kind of in a routine right now. And I think a lot of that comes down to, um, oh yeah, global pandemic, more than anything. But I do want to get out, explore some. You're going to be hopefully very excited uh, to hear some of my plans. I think I've shared a little bit, but I'm going to tell you more about them here soon, about how I'm going to explore the city more in the coming future. I've set myself up with some goals and some methods to do it. But yeah, I'm, I'm still going to give it a little bit of time. Things are a little bit crazy out there. In the meantime, today, uh, let's, I'm already running a little bit late, so we should probably get going. But let's go meet her at En Partage. It's a great little cafe, I'm assuming. Uh, I hope it is. We're about to find out. And then uh, I got to run back to the chateau, see if I can't find the next phone, grab the next phone, start using that in the midst of a day that's got a lot going on. Meetings and a stretching class. I'm going to try and stretch for 30 minutes today. That should be amazing. No idea what else is gonna happen, but it's gonna be fantastic. Let's get, let's go. here somewhere is that it across the way feels promising not only am i late but apparently they're opening late today but it looks like maybe she got in hey there you are have you been where where were you uh, je derrière. Je pas envie de venir là, mais oui. plus de batterie c'est le loi de murphy tu sais. <laughs> et il s'éteint tout le temps ben, je suis content quand c'est bien j'étais trouvé avant que c'est mort ouais. found a second option since the other place is closed. I turned the phone off at the wrong time, but Laura was telling me that the other spot, uh, their fridge broke overnight. So all their food went bad and they're, that's why they're opening an hour late. So we're going to Nomad instead. I haven't been here in a long time. And uh, we just want coffee, desperately. Coffee, please. We did it. They don't have food, which is okay. I'm excited for the coffee. The coffee's the main thing, but I also, I had a banana earlier and I'm, I'm hungry and um, like borderline hungover. I'm definitely not hungover, but you know that those moments where you, uh, well, you know those moments where you're still processing what happened the night before and uh, the decisions you make in the morning determine how the rest of the morning is gonna go. Yeah, right now the decision is uh, a give me uh, something to eat and some cafe. I might be biased because I haven't had coffee yet and it's delicious, but it's really good. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? It's like very fruity Kenyan. Uh... The stamp of approval. Okay. Elbow bump. See ya. She's the best. And she bought me coffee. It was really sweet. I guess. I'm still really confused about the mask wearing. I don't know which streets we have to do it on, so I'm doing it on most streets. I don't feel too bad about, you know, unmasking on the wheel, especially when there's no one around, but, um, you know, how's this combination for loud today? Anyways, like I have a meeting that I'm late for with Brian, so I'm gonna run back to uh, the Chateau, hop on that meeting, hopefully grab a new phone, and uh, 
we're gonna swap these on the phonesies and see uh, what the difference looks like between this guy and the uh, Xiaomi Mi 10. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Xiaomi? 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 I think it's Xiaomi? Is he, I don't know. Is, how do you pronounce X words? You should probably look that up. Anyways, the Mi 10. That's what's next. Let's, uh, I don't know, maybe just swap to that. to be a plenty of stuff i think including the case for that phone uh which is finally here just in time not to use it anymore or at least not to use it for a little bit so what do we have here ah this is the tech 21 for the iphone good i don't think i got a fancy case for the last phone because i don't think they make them for it i didn't see it at least protective phone case perfect with drop protection, that's what we're looking for. All right, here's the moment of truth. Phone number three. Let's see what this guy is and what it can do. La 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 la. Woo. With easy access to the Google apps you use most. All right, I guess we're going back to the Google stuff. High res audio. Always an interesting claim. Okay, supposedly this actually has phenomenal audio. I was looking up a little bit more of information about it since it, this is the phone that I know the least about. This is the, you're about to see, the Mi 10. It's covered by a sticker, which is not the best look, but uh, the Mi 10. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Unlike the others, the phone is not the first thing you see. Pop this up. There it is. Everything's got this like trout scale rainbow effect going on. Just in case you were wondering, it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 10, 180, uh, 108 megapixel quad camera. What? With 8K video. 8K video is something that this guy can't do, but the Samsung can do that I will never use because I make videos daily and I don't have the time to process that kind of footage. Um, 90 hertz refresh rate, that's interesting. And then uh, 30 watt wireless fast charging, that's impressive. <whistles> All right, did I order the blue-ish, greenish one? Apparently I did, I was trying to be schmancy. I don't like uh, this wrap job as much, but that's fine. They're trying to impress me. Look, if I've gotten this far, I've already bought the phone. I don't know that you need to impress me with the specifications. Um, wow, feels nice, turn it on. You ever notice how like your hands look really weird when you're holding objects and uh, you would know, you don't notice, but you, I'm gonna see that on camera later and be like, why did I hold the phone that way? All right, there's a the little me logo. See how long this takes, powered by Android. I'm gonna put this down and we're straight into setting up Android. It looks like with the me UI. Me UI, life gets easier. English, United Kingdom, sure. I can pretend I have a fancy accent. Anyways, we don't have to look, we don't have to do all this. It is nice to be back on Android a little bit, to be honest. I like the keyboard better. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh, don't tear it. SIM card, pokey thingy, important. A C adapter, oh, it came with a case? I didn't have to buy a case, it came with a case? Well, now I feel silly. In case you buy, in case you buy one of these, uh, comes with a case. Oh boy, this is turning into a mess. In the bottom, we have our monstrous charger and uh, the USB-C cable that goes into it. I'm guessing uh, this thing is like super powered. I definitely want to take that out here in a second. But more importantly, it's time to see what it looks like. So uh, I guess we're going to change phones the same way we changed phones last time. Different lighting conditions, so take that into account uh, when you're judging either phone. But uh, one, two, three, the switch. How's that? I'm actually, uh, I'm going to, so let's get into the uh, inherent biases that I hold for and against all the phones. One more time, just to <laughs> clear the air. And also, for those of you that are just tuning in, like, what the heck is this vlog? What is this guy doing? Uh, I'm testing out three different phones, a Samsung Galaxy S Plus, uh, an iPhone 11 Pro, and the Xiaomi Mi 10. I still haven't looked up how to pronounce the name. I'm also a little bit concerned, like, so this is supposed to be one of the best cameras on the market right now. If not the best, I don't know, it's, it's up there. This is supposed to be one of the best cameras on the market. I kind of like it and dislike some elements about it already. I don't know why I picked this color blue, but I guess I'm gonna cover it with a case here at some point. The aesthetics of the phone uh, are already both like, they're okay, but the thing is that it is like a, a beast as far as the specs go, as far as the camera goes, as far as being a phone goes. And it's gonna be pretty high up there, it's gonna be pretty nice. But I am a little bit worried, as as there's been a lot of controversy around uh, Huawei, The I don't know uh, if there's any controversy surrounding these guys, and that's where I've been a little bit reluctant. There's a whole data privacy and protection element to our lives, and uh, we already kind of give it up to Google and Apple already, no matter what. 
I'm just noticing that there's a bunch of ash on my desk because my neighbor upstairs is probably smoking and just flicking it out the window. That's nice. So just to forewarn you that I do have some inherent biases and some like reluctance uh, to use this phone a little bit because I want to see how the camera is, but I'm kind of scared to like sign in anything with it, which is probably pretty bad. But that brings up a whole nother long conversation and a topic that I'm sure we can dive into at some point. For now, we're just going to focus on how does this thing function as a vlogging backup camera, but I'm, I'm going to be vlogging on it pretty much exclusively. I don't have a meeting with Brian, it turns out. Um, my meeting with Brian uh, has been postponed because he's in Australia and I'm here. And so when I said, how about we move the time back to 11 a.m. tomorrow, uh, he was already living in tomorrow. So he took that tomorrow to mean the next tomorrow, his tomorrow, not my tomorrow, my next day after tomorrow. And so anyways, it got confusing and we're not having a meeting, which is good in the sense that it means that it gives me time to get a little bit caught up and, uh, and eat something before going back down to where I have some space for my stretching class because I have a feeling uh, Allie's gonna make me uh, stretch in ways that are not so easy to do here. At least if we're doing anything overhead. Got some serious uh, vertical limitations in this space. So I'm gonna eat and then we'll see how this guy does a little bit today and then tomorrow I'm gonna take it out and we'll show it the town. And until then, uh, well yeah, let's go, let's go do a stretching class. I think my wheel might be dying. It's the worst. I forgot to plug it in last night. I'm in a good habit in the chateau of plugging it in. That that uh, that habit has not extended as well to the uh, office. So uh, we'll see if I make it. run into one potentially massive problem with this phone which is I can't switch between lenses while filming like it does a digital zoom thing but it doesn't swap between lenses seamlessly while filming which is uh, kind of a, a real annoyance I was already a little bit annoyed to me the iPhone isn't fast enough getting into video like the screen swiping thing I, I need I like that physical double tap I like that physical ability to jump into the camera right away um, just because I'm always filming one-handed you know while doing all this other stuff so that's one thing but then uh, the nice thing about the iPhone was that you could you know switch seamlessly between the lenses while you're filming this guy I'll keep playing around maybe I'll find a way to do it but you can't see me cringing I'm doing this it might not be possible I guess she's not even here yet. I'm also tempted to make coffee while I wait. Dare I leave the computer? Oh. Oh. Good morning. Hi, Jay. How are you? <laughs> Just like, is, am I am I actually in this? Good morning, Allie. Hello. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. We'll be, I'm going to shut this off, get started, get my playlist set up, and I'll be back in like Sounds good. But yeah, just do what you can. Follow along. I'll be going through the most. Feel free to keep your cameras on, off. I'm so I really scared. have no idea what to expect from this. Like, I feel like, am I properly dressed? I don't know. Do you need to dress in workout gear for this? Or I'm hoping that... Starting with our feet spread out. Oh gosh, I'm hoping that this is uh, unacceptable. Change shirts when I realized that this is gonna be a little bit of work. And I forgot to mention that today we're back up to 90 degrees here in Paris, so or more. Oh my gosh. How are you guys feeling? All good? So, so backlit. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks, Allie. She's a professional dancer too, so one of the things that made me... <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to take off the wide angle. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a critical flaw for this phone for sure. I turned on the fan, I changed shirts, I'm sweating. 
Uh, it was great, but um, man, am I not flexible. It's been good because I, I've been wanting to stretch a lot more. Even just, I feel great, that was awesome. I need to stretch more, uh, especially because I run a lot, bike a lot, and never stretch my legs. And uh, I feel, I, I'm feeling it, I'm really feeling that. So, thank you, Ellie, that was great. I'll definitely do that again. Uh, for those of you interested, it was like, I guess like half, I would call it like half sport, half yoga stretching. I don't know how to describe what just happened. There were some yoga poses and there was some other, but it makes me miss yoga. The other thing I was gonna say is if you want to join in on Ali's uh, stretching, she's offering a bunch of different classes right now during uh, you know quarantine confinement. You can go check out on Instagram and find out everything you need to know there. She's posted everything about it there. And uh, yeah, if you're looking to stretch a little bit, five Canadian dollars, which ends up with PayPal fees being just about five American dollars now that I think about it, but you know, Five bucks, super worth it. Whew, I gotta cool down because it's time to redecorate this place with Hillary finally. I'm really excited, it's a painting that she, we've talked about the painting before, it's finally time to reveal the painting. And then, Smash Bros tonight, so I gotta edit all this, get my work done before uh, the dudes, the bros come over uh, to play video games, because that's, you know, what's going on after this. And then, I just gotta cool down. Oh, also, speaking of cooling down, let's make some hot coffee. It's already ready, because I, I tried to beat her to it and make the coffee. I'm glad I didn't, actually. I'm glad the coffee's ready to be brewed now. It's good morning stretch session, coffee in the afternoon. You know, it's, it's, it's still great. Falls and, like, all the way down. Fall down the stairs too, and <laughs> disaster film. It looks so cool. Oh, yep. Yeah, please do tell me about your trip over here. What happened? Uber suck. <laughs> do you need a drink? And faith in humanity was shattered for a split second. Oh no. Same man. Oh no. And I was like, please. So this time I call him, and I actually get into like a Parisian fight with this guy because he's like, well, you gotta cancel. Oh, no. I can't cancel. You gotta cancel. And I was like, this isn't just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, sucks. here, I'm gonna make it all worth your while. Oh my god, yes, thank you. <laughs> sour Patch Kids. Just like cry into my Sour Aww, Patch Onions. Aww, onions. onions. Seriously, do you want a drink? Sour Patch Onions, sour patch onions that's exactly I would love a drink. What do you want? Beer, water, juice, hot sauces? So, what, yeah, is this a system that you rigged up yourself? Yeah. Okay. In this way, it's like, adjustable when it's on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, I like it this way because you can like move it side to side if you get it off. It also is like super, super glued onto there. Mm. And it's hard to deal with metal. Oh uh, yeah. Right. So. Because the, the canvas is metal, right? Yeah. Well, it's aluminum, which is a type of metal. <laughs> Again, scientist. You are a good scientist. We did run into a problem no. when that screw started No, stripping. no problem. There was no problem. <laughs> but it's okay. It's going to come right out. Maybe. It does. Yeah? Is it coming? Yeah. Honestly, I could probably screw it in more, but it's so stripped. I don't it, want to. It's super stripped, yeah. Okay. We're going to try screw number two. It's on! And so level. <laughs> Good workout. Yeah. That's actually not level. I gotta redo that. <laughs> oh no, re no, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so right. That as is. As soon as you said it, I was like, me. definitely not level. Yeah. Adventures in hanging art with excited. Hillary. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's big of a deal. You're no. fine. Don't add drama to this. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. The moment of truth. <laughs> that looks great. Oh yeah. We should we should uh, pose a photo. Nice. There we go. So we're going in and hopping on the couch. Yeah. I don't know why I jumped this high. <laughs> I feel like I thought we were gonna do a jumping on the couch. No, bed I was thing. like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> no. And you're like. I'm all, I'm so flexible after I, stretching earlier. I, I was able to hop. <laughs> oh.
Uh, well done. It's f***ing hot out, man. <laughs> you should open your windows. It's hotter out there. It's hotter out there. Than it is in here. It's such a cool painting. If you don't already follow Hillary, you should follow Hillary on Instagram. She's an amazing artist, not just a barista or an amazing bike painter. She's a great painter in general. That's freaking phenomenal. I love this thing so much. I'm so excited to finally have it. I commissioned this, just a quick story. She's a little bit tired, so we'll, we'll do a little uh, back and forth about this on camera another time. But I commissioned this from her a year ago when we were getting the office because I wanted to put this over the mantle in the office. And the first thing I always do when I feel like things are going well and I want to spend a little bit of money is I always want to support an artist, usually a friend if I can. And uh, obviously things didn't go so well. Thankfully, Hillary was kind enough to let me pay her slowly over time. So I've been paying her for it over the course of the last year. I just finished paying for it. And then she was also kind enough to come over and, you know, hang it up for me, which is very, very nice of her. Um, but it looks freaking awesome. Thanks, Hillary. Great job. I love it. That's probably gonna do it. I gotta kind of clean up and edit and whatever before uh, Smash Bros tonight. I wanted to make sure to thank my patron producer of the day, Spencer Tufel. Thanks for patronizing me and making it possible for me to patronize the arts and people that I love and respect, like Hillary, who are just phenomenal artists in the first place. It's like, I'm just gonna sit and stare at this all the time. I'm really excited to have it. And thanks to the Vosses, uh, whose apartment this is in right now, uh, for allowing us to put it up. We asked and they said that we could put that up and I'm really appreciative of that. I think it makes the place look schnazzy. And um, yeah, I don't know, it just makes me really happy. So thanks for watching, I hope you're having a great day. We'll take this guy out for a little bit more of a spin tomorrow and I'll tell you more about the experience then. And until then, yeah, see you bright and early tomorrow morning.